Okay, so just a quick update on the face shield printing. Um, this is the 3D printer you've all known and seen in various videos. Um, but to the left, we have a new addition. The print farm is getting bigger. So we have two printers now, obviously. Uh, this is the new one, this is the, this is the Pro, this is the Ender 5 Pro, which should be able to print quicker, faster, hopefully slightly quieter. Um, so this is actually its first ever print, which is going into this one here. And this is the War Horse, which has been running well, pretty much non-stop since we started this project. Uh, keeps producing face shield after face shield after face shield. So um, just a quick update on everything as well. So we've actually changed the design of the face shield. So we're going for a slightly thinner profile on the front. That's really cool because it saves a lot of material. Um, without really giving much away um, so that's that's cool that's that was started today on those ones um, slight downside is you can't stack them so we've been printing these stacked so maybe sort of six at a time you may have seen that on Facebook so so that's that and so I've got you this is a finished article this is what they actually look like so this is a face shield so that's what we're printing that headband this is the acetate that goes in the front and obviously the elastic as well. So uh, this acetate is actually the hardest bit to get hold of at the moment. So you would have seen me wittering on about 400 micron acetate. Um, if anybody has any or knows where they can get some, please, please, please let me know. Uh, there's about 30 people printing these uh, with, I think we have about 200 printers probably now. So we're desperate to get it. So anyway, there we go, that's a quick update. Let's take a look at this this boy. Busy doing its first print. Uh, I might need to adjust that slightly, but there we go. So there, all progress. Thanks so much for the donations. Um, keep them coming.